Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and having a super duper lovely day. So today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video. This is going to be a reading on Umji of G-Friend. Um, I hope I'm saying her name right. I feel like I always say that in my videos. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a reading on Umji. And as usual, I just want to make a quick disclaimer that I'm not going to divulge too, too much into her personal life out of respect for her and for whomever I do a reading about in the future um but yeah guys if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and yeah let's just get started hi guys so as usual i like to start my reading by getting a little bit of an overview into the person's personality um especially if i'm not familiar with them and with umji <laughs> i want to start with this card because the card that jumped out first but i can tell that you know with a page of cups especially i can tell that she cares very deeply about people about issues that are around her about things like i feel like maybe somewhere along the line she's going to be a philanthropist or she's going to work for charities or she's going to speak out about issues i just feel like she cares so very deeply about issues around the world that happen globally and she just has such a kind heart so she's very passionate about things like that there's a lot of fire in her belly and we also have the star right here in the Page of Cups. I feel like she's actually someone who's very, very talented. I don't think you've seen everything from her just yet. Um, she still has a lot that you haven't seen, basically, is what I'm seeing. She cares so much about people. She is very creative. I also have the sense that she's um, she has quite vivid dreams. <laughs> I know that's a little bit random, but I do feel like she has very, very vivid dreams. And she has a very good just imagination. Um, but yeah, also I feel like sometimes in the past, sometimes she could be a little bit stubborn, but she's now overcome that. And I feel like she's actually now very good at seeing things from other people's perspective because we have the hanged man here. So I do feel like there have been a lot of situations where she stopped herself and tried to see from other people's perspective. She's quite good at that. And I think that comes also from her love for others and her her nature in which she wants to help and she in which she wants to listen to others in which she wants to make sure she can help and give her input give her love that's what i can see from umji so let's see what's currently going on in umji's life what's currently going on in umji's life current energy okay anything else wow okay oh so many cards oh my gosh oh oh my gosh okay <laughs> let me get my bearings okay guys oh wow 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 you guys she is currently on fire on fire literally on fire she's currently working so hard on something working so so hard things are a little bit delayed at the moment they're not moving as fast as she'd like um she is getting a little bit impatient but she is working so hard you guys have no idea we have the two of wands she's currently planning something different the next big thing and with the magician and the empress she's giving it her all i don't think she's ever worked so hard at something in her life before because there's so much passion here there's so much drive here and she really really believes in this thing that she's currently working on she's really like trying to give it her all i feel like there's a lot of confidence there's a lot of like personal too like personal personal things so i feel like if this is a song maybe she's writing the lyrics for it or she's writing it or it has something to do with her past experiences but to be honest with you guys i feel like this is something that you guys haven't seen before it's something very different um it's not moving as fast as she'd like like i mentioned she's starting to feel a little bit impatient in regards to this but it's fine i feel like um she's still gaining a lot in the background like things are still moving she's she's doing her part and that's really important so this thing that she's going to give birth to this passion project this this thing is going to be pretty pretty big and it's going to be very personal it's going to come from her heart because we have the empress right here so this is big okay let's see what else is currently going on in umji's life 
Is this going to get released in 2021? Mm. I have the sun in reverse. So it's, I feel like currently there's a lot of roadblocks in regards to this project right here. Yeah, so something, so people hire up. So I think it's her agency or her company or something like that. They're making it very difficult for her to move forward with this project right now. So there's a lot of like delays, a lot of things, a lot of roadblocks. So I don't know if this thing that she's working on is going to come out in 2021, to be honest. Um, but let's see. Let's just see. Are things going to get resolved? Is it going to get better? Uh, okay, so things are still very much up and down. The guides are saying it's still inconclusive because things change daily. Um, there's a lot of things that are not going right within the company, the agency, or whoever it is that has a say in this project that she wants to do. There's just a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of fighting. The good thing that her guides want me to know um, want me to relate to you guys is that everything in her life currently is going well that's the most important thing so although there's like a lot of like toxicity negativity like turbulent time surrounding her and her kind of like working environment her herself and the people surrounding her are in a very good place so at least i think that's good i think it's good that she has a good kind of like a security system security blanket surrounding her lots of love lots of positivity and things like that so let's see a little bit about her relationships about her love life is there anything that we are allowed to see Umji. oh okay it? Oops. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Umji has been getting so many messages. I'm just like, wow. Interesting. So I do feel like she just left a relationship and I feel like this has been a very bad relationship. It's something that was just not serving her well. This person kind of like clouded her judgment. This person had a way of holding her back. This person had their claws on her. It was a very kind of like addictive relationship where you feel like you can't, just can't get out. I feel like it's one where, you know, you say you break up one day, you get back together the next. It was just a lot of negativity. Um, so this person was not good for her at all. This person was definitely holding her back. And what her guides want me to know is that this, this ending is so good because it's going to bring her towards the person who she's really meant to be with. Um, so I do see that the person that she's meant to be with is already in her midst right now. Um, and I feel like this is someone that she's known from um, kind of like her work situation because we have the nine of pentacles here so um, I do feel like uh, okay how should I say this this person is someone who feels like light night and day from her ex <laughs> I feel like her ex has a, like a little bit of like a toxic masculinity situation maybe they look really like macho really manly really sexy and mysterious but they're s-h-i-t you know what i'm saying <laughs> but this person this person that's meant for her is like sunshine personified they're just they bring positivity and love wherever they go they're very successful they're someone who is very secure like materially financially um and as well in their career they're just in a very good place they're also someone who imparts a lot of wisdom to her. So I honestly feel like they've been giving her a lot of advice. Um, you can see here. So I feel like when she goes through a difficult time and she has been going through a bit of a difficult time, I feel like they have been there for her. They've been giving her a lot of advice. They've been, they, they have a lot of wisdom, um, this person. Um, and because of that, they've gotten closer. They've also been there for her through the difficult time and things like that. And I feel like now she's actually quite uh, emotionally, like I mentioned before, right? She does get quite like emotionally involved in situations. She puts her heart and soul into things. And I feel like she's starting to get quite a lot of like <laughs> feelings for this person. So let's see in regards to the Oracle. If there's 
anything else that's currently going on in Ongji's life. Oh, sorry, the card jumped out. Yeah. So in this regard, I feel like they're currently texting a lot. They're currently talking to each other a lot. They're calling each other and things like that because we do have hearing messages. Oops, we do have hearing messages. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. This is so funny. <laughs> so I do feel like she's been um, hearing, uh, they've been talking to each other a lot, especially at night. They've been texting each other, talking to each other on the phone and things like that. So I feel like this relationship is currently blossoming. It's currently getting into like more serious because they've started really talking to each other. And with the lovers and the Gemini, I feel like, um, sorry sometimes i speak too quickly i know the lovers is um the lovers tarot card represents gemini in the zodiac um so i feel like with the lovers card also they get along very well with each other it's almost like they're very similar to each other but at the same time um they just give very sage advice and things like that so i do feel like they've been communicating a lot and um texting each other and calling each other and things like that so let's see if there's anything else um that's going to happen to Umji in 2021. Any other big messages? Okay, so I feel like um, in regards to uh, the law or something that's happening behind the scenes and things like that, things are going to get balanced very, very soon. So I feel like, um, you know, maybe this is something to do with what happened with so on or maybe something else that's going to happen. To be honest, I don't really see anything else currently that has to do with Omji. So I feel like it might be regarding that. But we do have the justice. So justice is on her side. So whatever that she's going to encounter, it's going to um, get resolved is what I'm seeing. So let's just grab another card from the Oracle and let's see if there's... Oops. Oh, no. Nope. We're not meant to grab cards from this Oracle. Sorry guys, a bunch of cards just fell from that oracle, so we're not meant to do it from that one. But let's see if there's any final messages. How is Umji's 2021 going to be? What are the big things in her 2021? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, a lot of messages. Wow, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is amazing. So for the... <sighs> I feel like the most important message of all, I mean, I'm going to get to that, is that we have dwelling in truth and looking deeper. I feel like this year in particular, she's really, really, really going to see just how powerful and how amazing she is. I feel like sometimes, I don't think she's hard on herself per se, but I do feel like sometimes she has a distorted vision of who she is. I feel like sometimes it's difficult for her to acknowledge like her talents and how beautiful she is inside and out. And I feel like in, there's there's a little bit of like a quiet moments happening right now, you know, with stepping into stillness too. My power is born in the majesty of silence. And I feel like during these silent moments, she's actually finding a lot of realizations about who she is as a person. And she's finally seeing just how beautiful, majestic, magical she is as a person. And I feel like that is so powerful in who she is as a person. Um, yeah. I see only beauty and grace. So she's finally acknowledging all the beautiful, amazing qualities she has. Also, we have cultivating prosperity and igniting courage. And I feel like this has to do with what I mentioned before regarding this um, project, this thing that she really wants to achieve in life. But I also feel like um, she's finally giving time for herself to do the hobbies and the things that really make her happy, that spark her joy, that give her more of a drive and more passion into doing the things that she really wants to do also i don't know how i missed this but i just saw that we have the judgment right here so i feel like she's going through a rebirth she's actually becoming like umji 2.0 where she becomes stronger better than ever you know so i feel like this is happening right now i'm sure because it's there it was around the time that the magician came forward so i feel like she really is kind of answering to her calling speaking her truth now i feel like sometimes she shy sometimes in the past she shied away from speaking her truth or maybe she didn't she didn't really want to like i don't know ruffle feathers or um she didn't want to make people uncomfortable but now she's like screw it i'm gonna be who i am i'm gonna speak my truth 
I'm just gonna embrace myself and embrace the goddess that I am. So I really feel like this is actually going to be a huge, huge personal year for Umji. I mean, especially with like this relationship that I see coming. Well, it's already here. I mean, they've been talking a lot. Um, but yeah, guys, also the big, big project that she wants to do. So I'm going to stop right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Um, please, please take care of yourselves and please be kind to yourselves. You know, like... You know, when you're tired and you don't want to do the things that you want to do, then that's fine. Just give yourself an hour for a break, lie down, you know, relax. And then when you're ready, then you can face, you know, life's challenges again. But I'm sending you guys so much love. And yeah, I hope you take care and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.